So here's a, here's a thought I've been running with for the last couple of days here in Cancun. <clears throat> it's out of my little backyard. Is this. You only have two things you can really manage. Time and experience. Two. Two very simple things. Your time and your experience inside of that space called time. Right? You're born, I'm born, you die, I die. In our entire life, we'll only have these two things that we're going to be able to manage. First thing we'll be able to manage is your time. Right? Think about this. Like you, you and I have the same amount of time every single day. Every single person who has spent the time to come to Mexico, where I'm at, invested the same amount of time. Right? We, we got on planes. We flew here. We're here in Cancun. We fly back. Right? There's a, it takes time to do this. But inside of that time, everybody's having a radically different experience. For most human beings, they don't value their time. They value money. And because they value money more than they value their time, they inevitably struggle with the second piece, which is called experience in time. So you can have people spending and doing the same exact game, right? The exact same game of time. You spend 24 hours, I spend 24 hours. We have a radically different experience inside this thing called time. Here in Cancun, you can have a totally different experience. You can be downtown Cancun, one of the college party scene spring break games, right? You can be at a high-end five-star resort. You can be at a residence. You can be at a three-star hotel. You can be at a small motel. You can be in a camping experience with a tent, right? All these things are a different experience inside of time. So there is time and there's your experience inside of time. You can spend time with your kids. And then there's the experience that you have inside the frame of your time with your children. And not all experiences are the same even though you have invested the time. For example, you take somebody practicing a skill and you can put in there and you say, listen, you've got an in a situation in which you have time to practice. So you start to practice a skill, you practice a skill, you practice a skill, but your experience inside of time is a radically different experience. The reps you're doing are incorrect. The amount of years you've tried. Entrepreneurs come to me this all the time. They're like, well, I've been trying this thing forever and ever. I've attempted marketing. I've tried advertising. I've tried building my business. I've tried doing all these things. Cool. You've put in time, but you haven't been able to experience or create the correct experience inside of time that, that matters. That ultimately produce to the reps. Now, I'm going to give you a final example of this. And let's talk about the conversation of sex. Okay? Just, just game. Hey, okay, just that game, sex, sex, penis, enters the vagina, right? Two people, man, woman, lesbians, gays, the rest of it. I'm not even going down that path. You do what you do. You do you. Here's a piece of man and woman have sex. Time is one piece. The experience inside that time is radically different. You can have sex with somebody you're not connected with at all and have a horrible experience. You can have sex with somebody who you are deeply committed to and have a deep connected relationship with and have a deeply profound experience. Which means just because two people enter a bedroom and have sex doesn't mean they're having the same experience at all. But what is it that changes all this? Well, environment. That's one of the things. One of the things that changes your experience is the environment in which you do something. So if I'm having sex here in this pool, I'm having sex over here uh, in those bushes on a hammock. I'm having sex uh, in a bedroom. I'm having sex on an airplane. I'm having sex uh, in a backseat of a car, right? These are, they're all different locations. They're all different experiences. Yet, your environment affects your experience of time. So take the moments, for some of you champions, 30, 40 minutes. For some of you not so champions, 10 minutes. For some of you, the rest of normal human beings, maybe a good two to five minutes, right? Two to five minutes of the game. And you're like, okay, well, I want to have a deeply connected experience. Well, oftentimes, it's not the act of the thing that you're doing that is the problem for the depth of your experience. It's been your unwillingness to invest money into creating experiences that change your experience of time, one of which is location. Now, I'm going to come with my guys here for a second. When was the last time you took your wife on a trip? Hmm? When was the last time you took your wife and spent money to take her on a vacation with you two. Question number one. Question number two. How much time, energy, and money do you invest in weekly date nights with your wife? Hmm? 
Ah, you know, we've been married, you know, for 10 years. We've been married. We've got kids. I know that's the point. Easy to be all lovey-dovey and all up in the sex machine when you're first meeting somebody. It's a whole nother thing. We've been together for 20 years and got five kids. So inside that, like, what do you actually do to create an experience inside of time? Oh, we got date night. What are we going to do? Let's go to the movie. Have some dinner. Come home. Have the same missionary sex we've always had our entire lives. We call that vaginal, vaginal masturbation. It's not exciting for anybody. It's not exciting for her. She's not coming. You're not coming. You're coming for sure, but she's not coming. She might. She might just use you to get off real quick, but nonetheless, there's no connection. So my last piece I'll wrap this up is this. You as a man have got to make a decision about your investment of money to buy time and inside of it to take money to invest in experiences inside of time. I had the hardest time in the world with family vacations. I just did. I'm not going to lie to you. I did. I had a hard time because my wife and I, for the first 15 years or so, 20, 12, 13 years we were married, sex was kind of a weird thing with kids on vacation because my wife was just uncomfortable, so we never did. So I hated vacations. I was like, dude, I'm going to go on vacation for five, six days. I'm going to be sexually frustrated. I'm going to be around my wife. She's going to be around a bikini. I'm going to want to I'm gonna want to have sex. I'm going to want to do this. And then this is what babies come out of that process right here. Say, what's up, baby? What's up? Come sit down and finish this message with me. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. Say, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? I'm just having an experience right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you having fun on this vacation? Yeah. Yeah, what's your funnest thing you did on this vacation? I'm flying really fast. Flying really fast? <gasps> There's hearts right there. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to wrap this because i got to go ahead. Why is, Why is there hearts there? going? Because people are hearting. They love you. They're saying, I love, I love Ada's message. She's so nice. Go ahead and look, look at all the little hearts with look, good all the little hearts and the people with the hold the looking little thumbs and look little hearts and little thumbs are coming up and they're saying what's up. Can you say hi guys? Hi guys. Okay, tell them how tell them your name. Ayla. How do you spell your name? Ayla Salah. How old are you? Like two years old. And when do you turn three? Like, When's your birthday? July. What's your birthday? When's your birthday? Do you remember? July? July 3rd. All right. So listen, I had the hardest time with all of it. I did for a long time. As a man, I could not get over the idea that there was not an ROI that I thought I could see from date nights and family vacations. So I was an asshole about it. I just was. I was an asshole for a very long time. Then I wondered why my wife didn't care, why my wife didn't connect, why my wife didn't want to cross line with me sexually, intimately, emotionally. Because when it came to my money and my game of time, I could not ever invest in experiences for my family, memories. This week, there's been about 75 times where it's like, that is a memory, and that memory is absolutely priceless. So gentlemen, my final message for you is this. You only have two things you can manage, time and experience. I got time with these little ones, been playing hard all day long, and the investment in experiences. The experience can be whatever. I, you don't have to spend a shitload of money, but I will tell you right now, if you're not willing to spend $25 now, you'll never spend $250,000 later when you got it. It's like telling people, tell me, well, I'll do that when I got money. I promise you right now, money does not make you anything. Money makes a mirror of who you actually are. If you're a cheap bastard when it comes to your money now, if it's five bucks, you'll be a cheap bastard when it's five million. All right, I'm out. Say bye. Oh, there's my beautiful wife. Looking ready to go. Oh, a little dancey dance. I can't believe this one just pushed a baby out of herself three months ago. Look at that. Looking fantastic. All right, this one is not the one. Say bye. Bye. All right, guys, I'm out. This is Gary J. Y. sign off saying love and like and morning, good afternoon. And why are their hearts? Because they were saying, what's up? What's up? All right, good night.